Okay, let's have a look at uh, creating a zip archive. So um, we go into our default Pi, and um, I've created a little test function here using the archive tree. So coding dot archive underscore tree, and the parameters we send through are source file. So this is going to be the uh, uh, the source of what we want to zip up. So I'm going to use the Kodi home folder as the source. So I'll just do a XBMC um, translate path to special home. So there we go. We do source file equals SRC and the destination file. So this needs to be. Um, uh, a path uh, that ends in .zip. So what I shall do here is I'll just use um, OS path join src with test.zip. So that will create a file called test.zip in my um, Kodi home folder. Uh, so let's put that as DST. Right now, these are optional parameters here. So uh, we could just do that. Uh, we could, you know, close the brackets there and that would work just fine. Um, but I may as well show you the optional parameters as well, which are, um, we've got exclude directories. So, if there's any specific directories you don't want included in this archive, uh, just drop them in there. So I'm going to do one called test and test2. So that was what we send in through there is exclude D and then exclude files equals exclude F and then so files works exactly the same as directories um, if there's any specific files uh, file names should I say that you don't want included uh, add them in here uh, do remember though that the directories and the files it will uh, exclude all ones that is found so including subdirectories and things like that um, Every instance it finds of this, it will uh, it will not include. So, uh, for example, I know uh, one one problematic file is uh, if you exclude the packages folder, um, there is one of the Kodi modules that's often used, uh, which actually has a subfolder called packages. So you don't want to leave that out, or else um, certain things won't work. But exclude files. Let's just call call it test file.txt and um, and then we've got the message header um, so when it's archiving you can choose a header to show in your dialog box so we just do test oh, header and the actual message itself uh, we could just put in there whatever whatever you want so archiving Kodi home folder, um, but like I say, these are optional. Uh, you can uh, you can leave these out if you want, and the defaults will be used. So let's give that a go. Um, so I'm calling it in a directory up there, directory item. So when we start up Kodi, we should hopefully find that we've got the option. Oh. Maybe not. Hold on. What have I missed out there? Um, syntax error. Okay. Um, oh, got a colon in the end for some reason. Right. Let's try that again. Save. Go back in here. Okay, let's switch over to um, our Kodi folder. 
and you can see in here that I've created a test file, um, test file.txt, because that was our, uh, our one we wanted to skip from backing up our file. And then in user data, I've just created a, a couple of tests, test folders um, with content in. So you can see test, we've got test txt there, test two, test txt, um, and there you go, test three. And what this should now do is um, it will go through and archive everything up. Um, if it comes across any blank folders, so folders that don't contain anything at all, such as this playlist one here, so playlist, although it's got folders in, they're also blank. There's no actual files in any of them, as you can see. So it should skip those as well. It skips blank uh, folders. So let's give it a go. We go in there. Click on archive, and there you go. You can see test header. Um, so yeah, our, our test header come up. It was nice and quick. It's only a small little install, and we should find that what we've got here is uh, we've got a test zip. Perfect. So let's extract that, and with any luck, let's have a look. It's only done add-ons and use data. Reason being because my media system, uh, they they don't contain anything, any files. Uh, what have we got? We've got, uh, it's missed out the test file.txt. That's not in there. Um, the user data, hopefully it's skipped our test folders apart from test three. Yeah, so it was only test and test two that we said we wanted it to skip. Test three has been left. Um, yeah, so so that's it. That's the archive process. It's worth noting, however, that um, where's my little uh, README file? It is worth noting. There's an important bit there. Uh, there's a known bug where certain compressed tar GZ files can cause the system to hang, and a bad zip file will continue to be made until it runs out of space on your storage device. Now. Um, yeah, any unlikely event that this doesn't happen, uh, add it to your exclude list. I've not really been able to recreate this error. Um, there was only one file, which was a tarball that I got from somewhere, and um, and I've tried other sort of uh, gzipped up things, um, and they've worked fine. But there was this one particular tarball, and I couldn't work out what was unique about it but uh, something in it obviously was causing the code to go a bit mad and uh, it sort of went into an infinite loop creating a huge zip file uh, so if you do run into any kind of problem like that uh, you'll at least know to add it to the exclude list uh, but I mean the chances of that happening should be very 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 rare because um, as far as I'm aware Cody doesn't actually use any uh, of those type of files okay um, Thanks for watching, hope that made some sense.